Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today we're going to do something wildly different. We're talking about solar panels rather than hand tools. What's up with that? Let's dive in. So yes, I was not going to be doing a video on this, but enough people asked me to do that because apparently there's a large crossover between people who are doing hand tools and people who want to be self-supported in electricity. Uh, so this video is going to be very short. I'm just going to talk about the how, why's, what, and expenses. If you really want an in-depth, detailed video, the second channel has one where I spend a lot more time and I go into all the weeds about how it was put in and what are all the graphs and charts and I take you over to the computer and see the actual electricity. This one's going to be a little shorter. So why did I put solar panels on my house? I, I'm not highly into it for the eco-friendly capability or the self-sustaining capability. For me, it was kind of a money's move. For my particular install, it was about $31,000 for the panels and electrical. Uh, so it's a pretty solid chunk of change. If I were to put that out, for the amount of electricity that I'm using, my bill is around $140 a month. That means it's going to take me over 20 years to make back that investment, meaning that I'd have about nine years worth of work. Uh, so all of the equipment and installation it is all warrantied, and so I have guarantees that it's going to be producing this much amount of electricity for that amount of time. So that's kind of nice, but still 20 years of making payments to then have nine years of free electricity, it might not be worth it. But there is a government subsidy that will knock off about 25% and then I have a state set rec that will knock off about another 25%. So I'm only spending about fifteen dollars to $16,000 on this, which means that it's going to be about 10 years of making payments and then 20 years of free electricity. Now that, that makes a lot of sense. And then on top of that, I can take it one step farther. If I take out a loan for the installation, then it's going to add another year or so on to paying it back. So it's gonna be about 11 years of making payments. But the nice thing is my loan payment is less than my electrical bill. So I am actually saving money from day one. Now I'm not saving that much, but it is a little bit less than my average bill. And as electrical prices go up, I'm paying off this bill. So my rates are pretty well flat. And then once it's paid off, I'm gonna have 19 years of no electrical bills. And that is why I'm putting on the panels. Now the actual installation of the panels is a rather long and drawn out process, and I'm not gonna go into that. The whole second channel has a lot of detail on what I chose and why I chose it. I decided to go with Sun Badger. Uh, they are, I interviewed quite a few, and they're the ones who ticked all the boxes and, and really fit well with what I'm wanting. So I definitely say, you know, interview a few. If you are in the Midwest, Sun Badger would be phenomenal. I'll leave a link to them down in the description below. If you're not in the Midwest, I definitely say go to Energy Sage. Uh, that is a website that has a crazy amount of information and there are so many specific things throughout the United States that you wanna ask questions about this if you live there and you wanna ask questions. They really do a great job of collating it. So number one, you have the questions you need to ask, but then it allows you to very easily ask for quotes from a bunch of different companies so you can actually compare the companies in your area. So Energy Sage, definitely worth it. If you're in the Midwest, Sun Badger is the they're the place to go. So all told, the biggest sticking point for our installation was actually our local municipality. It took a long time to get the actual permits to do it and then to get them to come back and check it in. And so by the time it was all done, it was December by the time we were producing electricity and the sun's as low in the sky as it's gonna be. Uh, so we're not actually producing as much as we use right now, but come the summer, we'll be producing far more. Now in our particular area, we don't actually have a difference in, in price variability. So throughout the day, our electricity is always the same price. So we don't actually make money by selling it back, but we do get credits. So if we make more than we use, we get credits. So when we use more than we make, we can then spend those credits and, and use that electricity again. So it's a very great process for what we're doing, especially if we're gonna stay tied to the grid rather than going off grid. So for us, the big thing was price. Most people talk about the, the time to pay it back. And for us, with a loan, we're actually saving money from day one. Well, probably not day one because we started in the winter. We'll be saving money from sometime around April on. And from that point on, we're actually saving some money. After about 11 years, then our electricity is basically free. 
So for us, it was a very much a no-brainer money. Uh, so if you are eco-conscious, then that is going to be worth even more to you. But even if you're not, it's definitely worth looking into because you could actually be saving money from day one rather than just having to pay it off over time. So is solar for everyone? No, um, my parents were looking at it, but because they're not in the house all year round and it going off of credits rather than selling it back, it just would not be cost effective for them. But for most people who are in a house regularly, it can be very cost effective and just kind of a no-brainer. I kind of see this becoming even cheaper and cheaper as time goes on so that eventually it's going to be a very common thing that pretty much every house out there has solar panels as long as the roof has capability for it. There's just so many positives to it and not that many drawbacks. I realize this video has been very different. Uh, if this is something you want more information on, go to the second channel, Wood by Wright How To. I go into great detail on it and actually show some of the graphs and information on the back side of it. Uh, for this channel, uh, we will be getting back to the woodworking, um, so don't, don't worry, this isn't turning into a, a tech channel. Um, I just also like a lot of other technology. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, I may do a video like this uh, a year from now and do a covery of how is this actually going after the first year, uh, but we'll see how that goes when we get there. So thank you everyone for watching. If you do have any comments, questions, ideas, let me know those down in the comments below. I do want to read those. Also, I want to say a huge thank you to all the patrons on Patreon, everyone scrolling over on the side. They are quite literally the ones keeping the lights on, even though we now have solar panels. But thank you for that. <laughs> if you'd like to find out more about Patreon, there's a link down in the description below. Also, if you want to find out about Sun Badger, uh, that is also down there below. So thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, have a wonderful day. Do you know how hard it is not to say, we just installed a solar system? Yeah, it is a solar system, but it's not the solar system.